the chord is uncorded, so it has to be recorded. That is what is meant by record. Correct. So the recording has started. Now, let us go with radiation heat. See, there are some thing which is there. See, every body in the universe emits radiation. Every body, every body that is above zero Kelvin temperature emits radiation also it is known it can be also it can be proved from second law of thermodynamics that zero Kelvin is impossible to get. Correct. Zero Kelvin is not possible. Yes or no? It is possible as a limit. It never reaches there. Okay. Impossible to get. Hence, hence, Everybody in the universe emits a radiation. Write it along with me. Emits radiation. If a radiation falls on a body, body it may reflect, it may reflect, absorb or transmit that radiation. It may absorb, reflect or transmit that radiation. All right. These three things are okay. If the body reflects or transmits, there is no change, no change in the temperature of the body. But when the radiation is absorbed, the radiation incident on a body is absorbed. There is an increase in temperature. Increase in temperature. When a body emits radiation, its temperature drops. Temperature drops. A body, body undergoing experiencing experiencing radiation heat transfer alone heat transfer alone heat transfer alone will will be in thermal equilibrium
if the rate of radiation emitted is equal to that absorbed otherwise it is not in thermal when it is absorbing more its temperature rises it is emitting more its temperature reduces it has the same temperature when whatever is absorbed is emitted not reflected reflection is different emission is different right uh, next limited of absorption next another point here is see the q incident will be either reflected plus absorbed or transmitted write it along with me so nothing great in that one so dividing by q incident we get 1 is equal to q reflected by q incident plus q absorbed by q incident plus q transmitted by q incident now that one is equal to this is called a reflectivity rho plus absorptivity absorb T V T absorptivity alpha plus transmissivity transmissivity two. So rho plus alpha plus two is equal to one. transmitted means see i have a plastic ducker here is a plastic ducker now i can see you why i can see you because the uh, reflection which is coming the light which is falling on you is transmitted to this and coming to me it goes through and okay. suppose a body is there this is a body i see okay yeah, let's have a body like this let us see this is a body there is a incident radiation a part of the incident radiation is reflected part is absorbed part is transmitted the transmitted part is going to have no effect on the effect on not the whole thing will happen Part of it will transmit. No. This is absorbed. This is reflect. 
and then it has transmitter. Then, in addition to this, this is about incident radiation. This is about incident radiation. Now, in addition to incident radiation, it will also emit. Keep in mind, this is different. It is emitting because it is at a higher temperature than zero degrees centigrade. It is emitting. Any body, for example, this thing which is there, you feel it is not there. It is. It's also emitting radiation. It's also absorbing. It's in temperature, same temperature. Means it is in equilibrium, thermal equilibrium. You do have to do one thing. <clears throat> you take a. There is an experiment which is generally done. Is. Uh, you take a magnifying glass, convex glass, which concentrates its, uh, how to say, sunlight over an area. You take a black balloon and keep that on the balloon. You will see that the balloon uh, will uh, will go off, will get, it will burst. But you take a white balloon, it will not burst so fast as that of the black balloon. Why? It is reflecting all the things. It's not absorbing at all. You understand? Now, why it is not for one radiation? There are a lot of radiations in the, in the uh, light which is coming. It's not the visible light only. But sun's light, maximum is visible light. Because it is at 6,000 degrees centigrade. So, since maximum is visible light, if it is white on the visible direction, so it also absorbs less energy. It reflects more, not absorbs, it reflects more. Whereas, if it is black, it absorbs more. So, if you take a black balloon and put a magnifying glass over it, it concentrating the sun's radiation, black balloon will burst faster. White balloon will take more time. If you in Mangalore, you should never wear a black dress. You must always wear white. If you want, should not feel hot. Keep in mind that is the reason everywhere in this region you see the people the traditional dresses are white. Not any color. You should not wear any color other than white here. You go to Ladakh, you have to wear black. Understand? So it absorbs. In summers, never wear black. Not some uh, religious reasons. You see the same thing traditionally, culturally. You go to uh, European countries, their standard dress is black. You have wear black coats. Why? Sunlight is less there. So people have adapted to that. They know intuitively they might not have done research. This is called socially developed science. They will say, okay, there is a God who says that you have to wear a black dress. Nothing like that. Okay. They've seen the things. Ah, they wear black dress. Yeah, immediately. Do you see white? It's cultural. You take any Middle East country, it is white only. With a white cap on there. Oh, that black. I don't know why black is over there. Maybe. What is that made out of? Previously, it was made out of black, uh, uh, how to say, uh, thing. But now, I, I will call it that. Uh, I generally rem remember of that uh, 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 of yours. Pressure cooker, no? <laughs> you know, pressure cooker. <laughs> Not disrespect. Okay. Just to, they might do something later to us also. So I hope you got the point. Yes. Fine. Then next. Now, black body. What is a black body? Is the one which absorbs. All the all the 
absorbs all the radiation incident black body is the one which absorbs all the radiation incident also also black body emits emits the entire spectrum of electro magnetic radiation very black body is a best absorber as well as the best emitter best emitter gray bodies gray bodies are surfaces that are more common more common and absorb a part of what black body is absorb part of radiation that a black body absorbs and same is the case with emission same is the case with emission emissivity factor emissivity factor or emissivity more common um oh man is common common okay that are more common absorb a part of radiation that black body absorbs and same is the case with the emission okay. emissivity emissivity factor or emissivity epsilon is actual radiation of gray body at t kelvin that is temperature is important divided by <coughs> radiation of black body at t depth of it we will see later because this is later on required that's why we are using this and when we talk about black body we are going to talk about or uh, emissivity we are going to talk about the um, spherical part that we will see later right there is a color black color absorb nearly 99.99 so black light will not be the same white black white spell v a n t black probably yeah some very interesting video you can see whether we have it or not. 
He does a very good job, is it not? He is doing from 2010 onwards. He has grown into popularity now. Then he is doing fantastic. Shall we then? Now. Next. Now, the rate at which the rate at which at which energy is radiated energy is radiated by a black body by a black body at absolute temperature T is given by Stephen Boltzmann law. Stephen Boltzmann law, which is Q radiated is equal to sigma into area into T power where where Sigma is the Stephen Boltzmann constant. Man. Constant. It is not that Boltzmann constant, it is Stephen Boltzmann constant, which is equal to 5.67 into 10 power minus 8 watt per meter square Kelvin to the power very very simple now if I am radiating my energy say I am sun okay, as sun think because we have to do role playing. Okay. I think I am sun. Now sun is radiating energy in all directions. But now how much reaches the planets? Say your earth. How much part of it reaches? That determines the radiation exchange between sun and the planet. So it is like what percentage of the sun is seeing that particular planet that determines the amount of radiation which is leaving from the sun and reaching the planet. You know, Earth is very small, it's a tiny, it's also, it actually receives a very small amount of solar energy compared to what the sun leaves. Because you know, if the sun is this big, we have discussed it a lot, so, you know, the Earth is somewhere here, a dot. I'm just saying it's much bigger than that. I don't think what you have, uh, this one, um, uh, Jupiter may be a bit this big. That's it. This is Jupiter compared to the sun. Okay, we are just a speck, a dot. You cannot even see that. In the sun solar system, if you go away and see that, actually you cannot see the earth. In that, in the real, this one. I think this is much smaller. If you see the diameter of the sun, and I'll compare it, okay, just for your this one. So, what is the diameter of the sun? Around one lakh kilometer. Yeah, one lakh. No, no. Thirteen lakh kilometers is the diameter of fourteen lakh, almost fourteen lakh kilometers. So you say one lakh kilometer is say this is 14 lakh you know 14 lakh means this is 14 if you put i'll put a 7 this is 14 lakh diameter this is 14 lakh this is 14 lakh this is 7 lakh you take 1 lakh is this much this is 1 lakh okay almost yes no you can cut it to seven parts this is 1 lakh and what is the 
diameter of the earth it is 12000 what is it 12000 so you cut this one lakh into 10 parts that one part is sun uh, is earth and how much distance it is from there i will tell distance from earth so you have to get that it's not the way it is depicted okay distance of earth from the sun 148 million 148 million means this is around 1 million this much you put 150 suns so actually it's 108 suns 108 suns in between then you get the distance between the earth and the sun so this is one this is two this is three this is four this is five only five we have reached actually it is a distance of 108 suns that is the distance between the earth and the sun so you see how less energy compared to sun's energy reaches the earth that idea has to be so now what is important is called the view factor okay. so something called the view factor is there okay see the amount of radiation radiation that reaches amount of radiation that reaches the amount of radiation that is emitted by one body that is emitted by one body and reaches the other body depends on how they view each other which is quantified which is quantified using a term called view factor term called view factor now view factor is so q heat transmitter okay heat transferred heat uh, heat uh, exchange between two gray bodies is given as given as q1 reaching 2 is equal to sigma into a1 into view factor f12 into t1 power 4 minus t2 power 3, where f1 to 2 is equal to 1 by where f1 to 2 is the view factor okay 1 by epsilon 1 minus 1 plus 1 by f12 1 2 f12 f12 plus a1 by a2 into 1 by epsilon 2 minus 1 this f12 is gray body view factor gray body view factor and this one is called the black body view factor not important enough okay uh, one more point. one more point then we will stop then we will go to with conduction okay very important class for you. One
is just introduction. We, we are going to derive these things later on. This view factor, black body view factor, gray body view factor, we are going to derive. And it is one of the most, uh, which comes often in Git. And it's very easy. The things that are easy and comes often is very dear to us, is it not? Very dear to us. See, there are some things in gate where the entry barrier is very difficult. When you open that and start learning, it becomes very difficult. But then you go through it, you complete that. Then the questions that comes are so easy that you'll be thankful that you have crossed that entry barrier. For example, boundary theory. So difficult it was. But then the questions that comes in gate are so easy. They will ask, what is the boundary layer thickness? How it varies with velocity? How it varies with distance? That is what is asked. Is it not? Which you just do it, it is intuitive to you. So that kind of things. Okay. You know it is 5.05x divided by root re. You remember that equation, every answer you can do. Okay. Done. So sure. now. Now, uh, see, view factor, black body view factor, black body view factor, black body view factor, F12 is the fraction, is the fraction of energy that leaves black body that leaves the black body one black body surface one surface one and is incident on black body surface to surface to okay. it can be shown that it can be shown that a1 f12 is equal to a2 f21 where a1 and A2 are the areas of black body surfaces 1 and 2. Black body surfaces 1 and 2. Now you may have combined convection, radiation, as well as uh, combined convection, radiation, as well as conduction. All the three can come together. Now in that way, we have to know what is the resistance of uh, radiation resistance. The radiation heat transfer resistance, we have to understand, is it not? So let us understand. Now, then. Now, a radiation heat transfer resistance. A radiation heat transfer resistance. Let us see. Now, generally, what happens is uh, if you consider uh, heat transfer, uh, if you consider how is it radiation is actually equal to r is equal to q heat divided by temperature difference is it not delta t sorry uh, 
Q divided by delta T is it not? Q divided by delta T. Q divided by delta T. Correct, no? Yes or no? For example, if you consider Q using conduction, it's HC A into delta T. Correct? Delta T by Q. I'm sorry. Delta T by Q. Correct? That is the radius. Okay? So, delta T by Q is the radius. So now, if you consider QR, what is that? This is QR. What is QR? QR is given as sigma A1 gray body radiation F12 into T wall raised to 4 minus T infinity raised to 4. Correct. Or if I want to write, I can write this as HR into area into area A1 into TW4 or TW minus T in where HR is known as radiation heat transfer coefficient. What is it called? Radiation heat transfer coefficient equivalent i'm sorry we can say it is radiation heat transfer coefficient where hr is equal to sigma f12 into tw raised to cube raised to 3 minus t infinity raised to 3. Makes sense. So keep in mind that cube and cube comes there. Tw minus T infinity cube is basis on it. It also influences HR. It's not difficult, friends. It's not difficult. You have to remember the Stephen Boltzmann constant, and everything will come up. Next. Next students. Any other point here? Uh, yeah, not over. Please. Aram say no. How did you reach me at t to power 4 to t? Because here we have t power 4. Huh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There is one problem. There is no problem in fact. Why there is no problem I will tell you. Uh, or there is a problem. Wait, there is a problem. There is a problem. There is a problem. I'm very sorry. I'm sorry, students. You cannot write it like that. I have corrected. Okay. So what is the correction? And thank you for uh, uh, him asking this question. Okay. See, you cannot write T W minus T infinity four four into when you take that. How you should write? You should write T cube plus T infinity, T W minus T infinity into T W minus T infinity, correct? Because when you when you uh, make the multiplication, you get it proper, is it not? Yes or no? Otherwise, you will not get it, correct? Or am I proper here? No, I am not yet proper. 
you get two other terms okay or but i can say this way observe this is very very important or i can say this way. this is wrong story this is wrong i will correct it don't write if you have not written okay now till here so this last one is public okay what should i write as i can write this as tw square plus or i will write it neatly over here yeah so tw power 4 minus t infinity power 4 can be tw square plus t infinity square into tw square minus t infinity square correct and then from this one i can take tw square plus t infinity square into tw minus t infinity into tw minus t plus t infinity. this is plus that is minus plus and minus can i say now then this is not this you just remove this and you put a plus here and you put a square here and then here you put tw plus t infinity. correct makes sense very very important so Agatya has saved my embarrassment later on. Yeah, but you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. Okay. Fine. Now it's clear. So HR is this. TW squared plus T infinity squared. TW plus T. Sometimes too much of confidence is bad. Not confidence, overlooking. This is overlooking. Oversight. Tana. Sorry. Next. Now, radiation, resistance to radiation heat transfer. Resistance to radiation heat transfer. Heat transfer. RR is given as 1 by HR into A1 which is given as 1 by sigma A1 gray body radiation F12 into Tw plus T infinity into Tw square plus T infinity square. But Tw is a wall temperature. Make sense? Now, if both the radiation and convection, convection heat transfer is present, is present in a system, in a system then 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 q is equal to q with respect to radiation plus q with respect to convection which is given as hr plus hc into a1 into tw minus t
ಆಯ್ತಾ ಸರಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ಡನ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸೊ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಒನ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಡನ್ ನಾವು ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಓಕೆ ವಿತ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸಿ ಕಂಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಹೀಟ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಟು chapter 2 conduction heat induction okay here today we are going with concepts tomorrow we will go you have to write a lot not tomorrow next class whenever we take you have to write a lot okay so let us see because it is just like five flows what we are doing you have a lot of derivation you have to continuously derive that kind of thing okay and somewhere in between it can you can have a equivalence with five flows when we did hagen poisson flows quet flows there are similarities between those okay so now let us look at how does heat transfer actually happen if you consider heat transfer suppose i have a fin okay uh, so if i have a fin here conduction if i have a fin now here the heat transfer there are some points where the temperature remains constant and those are called adiabatics those are called uh, those are called isotherms isotherms are the one where the temperature remains constant okay when you consider isotherms these are lines where temperature is constant so you have temperature may be like this this is constant then maybe this is constant maybe this is constant the constant temperature right so here it yeah this is how the constant temperature line may be right now there are some there are some lines called adiabatics across which there is no heat transfer adiabatics are lines across which there is no heat transfer is no heat transfer this may be an adiabatic so heat transfer happens from one isotherm to the other isotherm always never crosses the one isotherm to another isotherm this is the heat transfer heat transfer actually goes from one isotherm to other isotherm along the or almost parallel to the area of isotherm so this is isotherm and these are adiabatics isotherms i will say totally adiabatics so exactly isotherm means temperature here t is equal to i'll say this one t is equal to t1 this may be t is equal to t2 okay t2 being less than t1 so t2 being more than t1 i'll write otherwise i'll write this ta ta tb 
TB being less than TA because heat transfer is happening on that direction. Okay. So heat transfer, heat transfer occurs, occurs, occurs between an isotherm between uh, occurs across an isotherm across isotherms and along adiabats adiabats heat does not heat does not cross any adiabats make sense yeah heat transfer occurs across isotherms it crosses isotherms along the direction along the yes it is like it is like steam a streamline adiabats you can think about streamlines isotherms you can think as equipotential lines so adiabats gives the direction of heat transfer and heat transfer always happens tangential to the adiabats direction of heat transfer is always tangential to the adiabat not very important just like introduction along adiabat heat transfer is no 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 we cannot say heat transfer is constant it is like saying around streamline the velocity is constant it's not so. Velocity is tangent. It is not a constant. Along a streamline, velocity, the body, the uh, fluid can accelerate. Similar way here, there might be this. Huh? Nothing is constant in adiabats. There may be a equivalence to a streamline. Some. Yes. Across idea, but there cannot be heat transfer. Yes, does not cross along with it. Along with it. Tangential. Good.
ಬಂದ ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಆಗ್ಲಿ 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 ಏನು ಕಡಿಬೇಕು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಏನಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಸಿ ನಾವು ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಟು ಐಸೋಥರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಐಸೋಥರ್ಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಅ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಟಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಡಿ ಟಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಅ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಟಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಡಿ ಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನದರ್ ಒನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಟಿ this is a temperature t so from t plus dt the heat is transferred in this direction correct so which direction the heat is transferred it is transferred normal to a surface here say this is da now it may so happen that the normal i'll i'll, I'll give it this okay so it goes say the normal is like that and then the heat transfer actually say let us take okay wait this is dt so yeah say this is t okay this is t plus dt okay now this may be the normal to the area m heat transfer may occur along this direction where you have to see the gradient at that point the gradient determines say this is a this is d a say this is d a and at this point this may be del of t gradient of t going one level higher to what our uh, nag is doing so because we have understood what is gradient is it not uh, this is the area if you want you can write this is da okay let me write it as da vector so that no confusion is there it's perpendicular to that surface where there is gradient of t no no see uh in of oh, not like that okay wait so i will say this is gradient of t gradient of t is in which direction there is a maximum change that is a gradient now i am considering the area this may be a part of this t plus delta t or not okay means may it may be on that line or not on that but on that point for sure okay now this is the increase delta t what is delta t delta t is the direction of maximum increase of temperature correct and da is the area vector the fourier law of heat conduction fourier law of heat conduction is like this it says now fourier law of heat conduction here fourier law of heat conduction vectorially is given as is given as dq dq is equal to dq is equal to minus k minus k that is a change in the this one minus k into minus k into del t dotted with da del t 
dot with d a or d q can also be given as minus k del t dotted with normal vector into the area d a magnitude this way also you can this is one way q is equal to surface integral we have done that already into k into del t which is a vector right del t dotted with d a or which is equal to minus of surface integral my uh, k into del t dotted with n into c a d a can be dx dy dr dt times excess important important in understanding yet we may not do this and we, may, we will survive in here without knowing the doing this also but the excellence the confidence comes through yesterday, yesterday the same thing same thing i'm doing Maximum yes, increase. Ha, huh. we have a minus, is it not? That takes care of. Normally, normal definition is equal. So minus when we take, it takes care of. This is minus delta. I am putting this. I am sorry. So there, I have to put it as minus because temperature is reducing. so sometimes it requires a lot of things tomorrow we will derive heat conduction equation okay so we do it now 5 minutes is that ah uh, no it cannot be done in so much time i can do it now it's a heat conduction equation how you know the uh, i can always have uh, that's what we have done yesterday we have done with the gauss divergence theorem if i use gauss divergence theorem i can directly write the uh, heat conduction equation but i will do it tomorrow ha huh? will do it proper we will derive it from the first principles okay so we'll stop it here students